Well, barn project's coming along. It's getting pretty cold out, so getting some things done. All the wood that we carried outside, we got brought inside. And uh, so we had a change and uh, show you a little. <laughs> it's funny how it, you see a car jack, right? I'm doing uh, carpentry work here and I got a car jack. Well, <clears throat> so the staircase used to come uh, right here and went up to this loft and that's how you got on the loft. It actually sat up against that header there. Um, you could see the marks there and you would step off the side of the run um, and uh, onto there and we are going to change it um, because the staircase right here in the middle would kind of be like, I don't know, it'd be in the middle of things. So my wife had the great idea. I fought it because of the work involved, but she wanted to put it on the outside wall that it's out of the place. But above here is another mezzanine. It's another layer higher than that one. You can see that. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. Well, guess what? We did. And you can see da -da -da, that half is gone. It used to go all the way over to there and it has been removed to make way for fixing stairs. Let me show you up there. So what we did, that plywood was all, uh, you know, tongue and groove notched in. So we, from down here on the ground, we took that car jack, put a long two by four on it, took two people, and we would put it underneath uh, the wood alongside the floor joist and then pump the uh, jack to pop it up the nails instead of being on top of it and trying to pry out each and every one of those nails. And we just went row by row and popped them all out. And let me tell you, it made easy work. It was amazing, uh, fantastic. So uh, got the plywood out. Then we just got up on top with a sawzall and cut those off there um, and uh, lowered them down. I'll have to put, of course, you know, a board there, you know that. <clears throat> um, oops, sorry to make you dizzy. And uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're building a catwalk. Um, from here, it's gonna be four, uh, 48 inches from here to the outside wall. And then the stairs will go down the outside wall. So um, two by tens, we measured the distance just under 14 foot. So two by tens will work. Double, gonna double up the face of them because uh, the stairs will lean against them, but I'll give you another video catching you up on that, but that's in progress. Well, got the catwalk done. As you know, reloc relocating the stairs and uh, got that done two by tens, uh, 14 foot, three inches long. Uh, bridging in, uh, I put three places, one in the end, one here where the end of the staircase will probably butt up against right there. Another one over here, got the decking on, screwed down in. That thing, I tell you what, it's funny, you know, when you build your own thing sometimes, I stepped out on it for the first time and I was actually nervous. I was hanging onto that beam like there for dear life. And, uh, but it's, it's as st solid as can be, man. I mean, it's got big headers mounted into these two, uh, two big posts. You can see my gloves on, it's like 28 degrees outside. And uh, so that thing is solid as a rock. This wood was uh, not there when I put the catwalk up, that header beam that right there was. Uh, I started putting the wood. This is the two by six tongue groove wood that came down from all the horse stalls inside. If you remember, I got piles of the wood around uh, by, uh, by length. There's my staircase, guys. I just bought a box, uh, a, bo a set of box stairs, let them do the work, gave them the measurements, and uh, that'll save a lot of time. Nice, sturdy staircase. So what I did is I started getting the wood up uh, that's going to be on the wall because the stair will come down here and and right around there. So then I don't have to w worry about fishing the wood behind the staircase. And it gives me additional uh, support to attach the stairs to. Otherwise, I'd basically have that post and that post to put uh, screws into. This will give me a lot more space to really mount it onto. And it's all done. So I was getting that done. It's coming out good. So I'm going to have enough of that wood to do probably up to, that's eight foot right there, that purlin. So I'll have enough of this wood to do eight feet all the way around the barn is my hope, which will leave, you know, some exposed up there. Um, toying with lights and uh, bought some uh, rope light, LED rope light, bought some uh, LED square up lights, got some bulb patio lights, and we're just gonna be messing around, trying to tweak things and just see uh, what would look good, what works, what's cheesy, what would we send back, what we use, so. But anyway, so that's the update in the staircase. Next phase will just be getting the stairs up and mounted, and then I'll have to get working on the railing, of course. Well, the stairs are in. 
So, like I told you, I had the box steps I showed you, and I had the wood in place, and with a little uh, extra hands, we were able to lift this sucker right up in place. Look at that. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Nice and easy step, and uh, lift it right up. Just a couple little tips if you're doing this sort of project and you're going to do that. Um, one is uh, make sure that you install your uh, two by what, uh, whatever we use the two by six, I believe, um, mount that right there, that board to where you're attaching your stairs first, because there's that little lip on that top step that will sit right on top of that. Don't make it tight because on the inside of their box stairs, when you get it, there's these little shims and they stick out. So if you didn't have any space, uh, if you made it too tight of a cut, uh, you won't be able to put it in because those shims would rest on that thing. And then, uh, you know, once you lift it up, um, got screws into that up there and then got some screws down the inside of here. I'm probably going to put one post right here um, because I can. Um, there's lots of space underneath that. So one, you know, sitting right about there isn't going to really hurt anything. And uh, when you go up, of course, you know, you throw your level on there to make sure you got level. Um, but... The key is right here, this is what you're looking for when you put them in, is you want the top of this to be level with the top of your decking, okay? So that's what you're after. And then just pop, you know, some screws right in that first one and that'll hold it in place and then you do it on your, your uh, wall. So it's gonna be great, right? So gotta get busy on a railing, figure out what kind of a thing. This is the catwalk that'll now go to the second floor. Uh, just to remind you, the stairs used to come up right along this edge and right up to here and they actually attached here um, so you could step up onto this loft when it came all the way over but i showed you how we cut that off so but that's the new stairs to the loft all right very good 